does feel good, doesn't it? It feels really yeah. good. Y'all look great, too. I see so many great Democrats here, great leadership from the committee here in Virginia Beach, uh, Ollie Bates and Dominic and Paul. And I, Paul Wright's over here. Thank you, Paul, for being here. And I understand you did some churches this morning. You all feel very virtuous, right? After watching all those ads this morning, I needed some church. I needed some religion. <laughs> But after watching all those ads, I'm convinced I'm voting for Dr. Ralph Northam, Delegate Paula Miller, Bobby Matson, Bob MacGyver, and, and Joe Bashar. <laughs> actually, not, they're not free. Uh, they actually uh, cost a lot, and you know, I come into the room now and I, I have to show you what I have left. <laughs> you know what? The value of a democratic majority, priceless. Bobby, Joe, and Bob, we are going to continue to move Virginia forward. You know, we have such a great record of success. You know, the, the best managed state in the country, the best state to do business, the best state for a child's lifetime success. But we've done it all in a fiscally responsible way, AAA bond ratings, balanced budgets. You know, that doesn't happen by accident doesn't happen by accident. And we've had great Democratic leadership here in the Commonwealth. Governor Mark Warner and now Governor Tim Kaine has done so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've served under four governors now, Democrat, Republican, and no governor, no governor has ever done more for his party and for moving Virginia forward is this campaign, Governor Tim Kaine. He deserves so much credit. <laughs> and we've laid out, we joined you all here in Virginia Beach when we laid out our vision for Virginia's future. We talked about early childhood education, supporting Governor Kaine in early childhood education, and talking about the benefits of investing in our kids as early as possible. And then we talk about military veterans' benefits with Joe Bashar and how important that is for all of our returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. Then we, we talked about the environment, transportation. We laid out a vision for Virginia because we want not only to say what the other guy has or hasn't done, but what we will do when we are in the majority. You know? We are tired of this knee-jerk extremist in the House of Delegates. We're tired of this. just say no crowd. Let's yeah. say no to the workers and the work they do by rejecting an increase in the minimum wage. Let's say no to the promise and potential of stem cell research. No to early childhood education. No to record investments. We're tired of saying no. In fact, the only thing they say yes to are abusive driver fees. <laughs> it's time for a change. It's time for a change. And this year, we are offering wonderful people to get that job done. I mean, it, I'm just so proud. I've joined the governor over the last several days. We started out in Floyd, uh, Martinsville, Danville. We've been all over Virginia. But I tell you, there is no more important place than these elections right here in Virginia Beach. You all know it. I can feel it. You're all here tonight. I can feel the energy. We need true public servants. I mean, the Joe, a lifetime career service. Bobby, Bob, working on, you know, running on the issues, and Joe. Joe served this great country and commanded people and ran the largest naval station in this entire world. I mean, these are, these are quality people. Quality people. We, we need them. Desperately need them. Virginia needs them. Virginia Beach, you will deliver them, right? We have top quality individuals running. And the hour is now late, but the need is great. There's just hours left. Can you believe it? All those times we spent during the summer and last spring, Bob, there's only hours left. Now, today was a big football day. In fact, friends, the Redskins won in overtime. Yeah. actually played for the Redskins, and of course, so his five sons all had to play football. And, but he used to teach us, you leave it all out on the field. All, you play all four quarters, you leave it all out in the field, and when you do that, don't, he used to tell us, don't dare come home with any more energy or strength left. But when you do that, when you leave it all out in the field, win or lose, you can hold your head high. And I know, when you all do, 
even over these last several hours, all you can do, we will deliver. Joe Bouchard, Bob McGovern, Bobby Matheson to the house. Now.